In this question, we have been asked to identify the clinical procedure that is being performed in the image that is given here. Okay, the options are polishing, finishing, proximal stripping, or crown preparation. Now, what we see in this image is that there is a diamond strip or an abrasive strip that is held onto a saw frame, okay, which is going and engaging between the proximal surfaces of the lower anteriors. So, this clinical uh, procedure is proximal stripping. Okay, the proximal stripping is a procedure that is done in order to reduce the mesiodistal dimension of the teeth. So, it helps to remove some of the amount of enamel from the proximal surfaces that is a mesial or the distal surfaces in order to gain space in the arch. Okay, so this is a method of gaining space in the arch. Now, this can be done in various ways. So, here in this image, there is a saw frame which has a diamond strip. Okay, now either the diamond strip can be handheld and manually uh, uh, moved between the interproximal areas in order to remove the enamel or it can be used in, with the help of uh, these diamond discs, okay, which can be mounted on an aerotor or a micromotor. Okay, this again is a saw frame uh, diamond strip which is held inside an aerotor or burrs can also be used to carry out the same process. Now, interproximal stripping is known by many ways. So, apart from interproximal stripping or interproximal reduction, it is also known as reproximation, okay, slenderization, disking, or proximal slicing. Now, what is important to note is the indications where it needs to be done okay and how much amount of enamel can be removed using or how much amount of space can be gained using this procedure so this completely depends from case to case for example in certain areas where there might be mild to moderate crowding okay which does not warrant the need for extraction the, uh, this we can identify on the basis of the different model analysis. For example, in the Cary's analysis, if we see that the space discrepancy is less than 5 mm or between 0 to 2.5 mm, we know that there is a space discrepancy, but it is not enough that warrants extraction of teeth. So, in these situations, we can gain the space by doing interproximal reduction and removing minimum amount of tooth, move, uh, tooth material in order to correct the space discrepancy. Another model analysis that can be done is the Bolton's analysis. Okay, so the Bolton's analysis helps us to identify which arch has the discrepancy. So it tells us the total tooth material as well as the anterior ratio. Okay, so it tells us uh, which arch, okay, whether the maxilla or the mandible has a tooth material discrepancy, okay, whether there is uh, excess material in the maxilla or whether there is less material in the maxilla, that can be gauged by using the Bolton's analysis and also how much is the discrepancy and whether the discrepancy is uh, restricted to the anterior or whether it is generalized between the whole arch. So, this helps us to identify the areas where we need to do the interproximal reduction. For example, if the Bolton's ratio shows that there is an anterior mandibular tooth material excess, okay, then we know that the interproximal reduction needs to be carried out only in the mandibular anterior areas. But if the Bolton's ratio shows us that there is a, a mandibular total mandibular arch tooth material excess, this means we can do some amount of proximal stripping till the posterior teeth and it is not limited just to the anterior teeth. So, the Bolton's uh, analysis is a very important analysis to identify uh, correctly and accurately the areas which have a tooth material excess or deficiency. So, either, uh, so it helps us to gauge which areas need to be uh, slenderized, okay. Another analysis that is in, uh, helpful in uh, IPR is the peck and peck analysis. Now, the peck and peck analysis tells us whether there is a need or an indication for interproximal stripping in the lower incisors. So, this is, an, uh, this is an analysis that is restricted only to the lower incisors and it measures the value of the labiolingual as well as the mesiodistal diameters of the lower incisors. And on the basis of the, this analysis, we can identify whether the uh, mesiodistal dimension is greater and the lower incisors have an indication for undergoing proximal stripping.
So these are some of the important analysis which are related to this procedure.